How many believe we need God to revive us? Hallelujah. We used to sing that song that says, We praise thee, O Lord, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now born. Hallelujah, I the glory. Hallelujah, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many believe we need God to revive us? Hallelujah. We used to sing that song that says, We praise thee, O Lord, for the Son of thy love, for Jesus who died and is now born. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I the glory. Hallelujah. Welcome, 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 and thank you for joining us for our virtual concert of our new project, Keep Hymns Alive. Now get ready because we are preparing to go on a musical journey like never before. Let's go. Yeah, Job was a man who had it all. Fame, fortune, lovely family, devil came and took it all, except his life and a complaining wife. Hallelujah. He said, though he's slain, yet will I trust him. Listen, here's what you gotta do. I will trust in the Lord. I'm gonna trust in the Lord. I'm gonna trust in the Lord. Say it with me. Till I.
yes I am I'm gonna stay on the battlefield But wait a minute, there's another one Listen, oh, I will trust in the Lord Come on, I will How many of y'all know that today? not most Christian hymns are birthed out of a spiritual experience of the writer. The Bible lets us know we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Keeping hymns alive is important because hymns serve as preservation of our Christian heritage for future generations. Let's help keep hymns alive. Once God saved me, I discovered many sources of inspiration in my early Christian music experience. I think the first album I purchased were Andre Crouch Live at Carnegie Hall and Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace. Other influences include Edwin Hawkins and Walter Hawkins, uh, the Clark Sisters, James Cleveland, Sam Cooke, uh, the Caravans, Mahalia Jackson, the Winans Commissioned, uh, Thomas Dorsey, uh, Donnie McClurkin, John P. Key, Kirk Franklin, Mary Mary, and, and, and so many, many more. But you know, many, many of their songs started as contemporary to their times, but a part of our hymns heritage today. Sister told me, she said, you know what? I, I thought your brother would be saved, but I didn't think you would ever be saved, you know? Because I was kind of out there. And uh, how many know God can save anybody? He can save anybody from anything. That's, he's that kind of God. And I remember back, back in the day when they'd have what's called altar call. And it would be like I, I would be there and I, 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 I really want to leave out of the church before the altar call. I could sit there through the singing and even through the preaching. But it got to the point where the, the preacher said, now's the time for you to give your life to Christ. I wanted to go to the bathroom. I just wanted to get out of there because something would tug at my heart. And I felt like I wasn't ready, you know. Anybody felt like that before? Like, I can't live that. I can't do it. Hey! And I found out that I can't do it. But God can do it. He can do it. He's the only one that can do it. And they, they used to sing a song that, that was so true. And then, and it was this song that said, Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. And
If you know it, sing it with me. Just as I am without one, but that thy blood, but that thy was shed for me. song that said Spirit of the living God for favorite songs from past projects is the Pentecostal Praise Medley from the Hymns and Church Songs Live from Alabama Project. I like it because it's a medley of songs that most people know and can easily sing along. Oh How I Love Jesus featuring Pastor DeAndre Patterson from the Hymns for the Nation album is another favorite. It's an old hymn that, that many people can join and, and sing the chorus. And Lord, you reign and, and bow my spirit featuring Darwin Hobbs, both from the Be Lifted Up project, also stand out for me. They are both worship hymns that invoke the presence of our God. Sing 
a song of your praise to tell you how I adore oh, you. Lord, I lift my hands unto you. I worship you with my heart. Now my spirit be. You know, there are a number of young gospel artists who not only master the sound of their generation, but also uphold and contribute to the legacy of hymns and do it extremely well. Two of these artists graced us with their presence on Keep Hymns Alive. They are Calante Gavin sing singing Pass Me Not and Ruth Leantra with No Never Alone. Check it out. O gentle Savior, oh, hear my humble cry. Oh, I will on others thou art called.
privilege of working with Bishop Rance Allen on this project, Keep Hymns Alive. He sang the first single, Throw Me Overboard, which is a medley yeah. with the song, uh, There's a Storm Out on the Ocean. This was one of the last songs recorded by Bishop Allen before his transition from earth to glory. Bishop Allen was a living legend, and it was a great shock to, to us all when he left us. He was such a tremendous influence on singers and musicians, and his music and ministry will live on. Ha! <laughs> 
a drift to win. It's gonna drift to win. Drift to win. You start, but you can't finish. You're drifting away from the law. You don't pray like you used to. You don't pray. You don't sing like you used to. Sing. Something's wrong. You're drifting away. Drifting away. Back before the days of the mega churches, many of our churches were in what were called storefronts. These were churches that were in establishments that were built to house stores or businesses that utilized large display windows visible from the sidewalk or the street. As children, we could stand at the window and check out all the action without going in. You know, these churches were often of the holiness persuasion and typically made a lot of sound, even without a lot of instruments and fast, fancy equipment. They usually didn't have a lot of money, but they had a lot of spirit and involvement in their worship. Jesus, I'll never forget. How you send me free? Jesus, I'll never forget. How you brought me out.
Here I Am is a modern day hymn that extols the greatness of our God. The core of the song was birthed during a morning prayer session. It contrasts the perils of our fallen world with the beauty and strength of our Savior. It features Minister Quentin Elliott, who drives the theme home that he is the great I Am. You rose in the desert of blindness, fresh breath of life in your kindness, tower of strength in your stand. And you are a day star of light in the darkness, a vision of hope to the hopeless. You hold all power in your hand. You are the great I am. Come on, sing one. Rose. Fresh breath of life. Fresh breath of life in your kindness. Tower of strength. Tower of strength in your strength. You are. And you are. Based on our life. Based on life in the darkness. Vision of hope. Vision of hope to the world. You hold all power in your hand. You hold all power in your hand. You are the great I am. Abraham knew you as Jehovah Jireh. Moses knew you as the emancipator of the people of God. You are the great I am. You are the great I am. Great I am. Great I am. Son of God, Son of Man. You're the great I am. Hallelujah. Isaiah called you wonderful, counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. A rose. rose in the desert of life. Fresh breath of life. Fresh breath of life in your eyes. Tower of strength. Tower of strength in your eyes. Beginning and the end, you're the first and the last. You're the great I am. You are the great I am. Son of God, Son of Man. You're the great. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. And I pray that each of you enjoyed our virtual concert. Listen, help us to keep the church hymns alive by downloading our new project right now. Check us out on all social media platforms at Bishop Leonard Scott. 
I look forward to seeing you all soon. God bless you and God bless your bones.